Hi, good morning. I am Dr. Shilpa Bhartia, consultant hematologist. Today we are going to talk about disorders affecting the blood. The blood is a system which is composed of our uh, cells, which is the red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. These cells are suspended in a fluid called plasma, which carry many proteins and coagulation factors. These clotting factors in a body help the blood clot when it is necessary. In addition, it prevents over clotting, which means if our blood does not clot, we may bleed to death. And if it clots unnecessary, we will get thrombosis or clots in various parts of the body, blocking the blood supply to vital organs such as the heart, lungs, brain. So, these clotting factors exist in the blood in a very delicate balance. If there is a disruption in this balance, there can be a problem. Hemophilia. Hemophilia is one such blood disorder where there is a bleeding tendency. It's a genetic blood disorder which is usually seen or mainly seen in boys because a defective gene is carried by the X chromosome of the mother. So, if the mother is a carrier of the defective gene, the affected child, if is a male, can be affected. Hemophilia is of two types, Hemophilia A and Hemophilia B. Hemophilia A is a deficiency of a factor which is called factor 8 and Hemophilia B is a deficiency of a factor called factor 9. Clinically, they both behave the same but treatment is different because in Hemophilia A we have to give factor 8 replacement and in Hemophilia B we give factor 9 replacement. The severity of the disease can be variable. This depends upon the percentage of the factor the body is making. So, if the percentage of factor is less than 1%, we call it severe hemophilia. If it is between 2 to 5%, we call it moderate hemophilia. And if the factor levels are more than 5%, then we call it mild hemophilia. In mild hemophilia, the bleeding tendency is very low. Sometimes people reach the middle age without knowing that they have got the hemophilia gene. If they went for a dental extraction or a surgery, the bleeding was unusually more and hence leads to the investigation. Whereas the children with severe hemophilia are at high risk of bleeding right from birth. Their vaccinations can be difficult. When they start crawling, they get bruises and bleeding and they can get joint bleeding. Unfortunately, the disease remains incurable. However, now the gene therapy has started coming and there are several research trials which have proven its efficacy. But for the vast majority of the children, hemophilia treatment is dependent on replacement of either the coagulation factor through plasma, through cryoprecipitate or through companies that are making concentrated factor 8 or factor 9. These are expensive products and availability is an issue. However, with regular care, hemophilia can be managed properly with good joint care, with good dental care and regular hospital visits. We encourage children with hemophilia to exercise to keep their muscles strong so that the amount of joint bleeds are reduced. Before going for any invasive procedure such as an operation or dental extraction, it is important to consult your hematologist so that treatment can be given to prevent bleedings during the test. Hemophilia centers and hemophilia care booklets are available throughout the world. And if you wish to have any further information, please do not hesitate to contact us. We will be glad to help you.